Gemma Robertson. I think we've got a fantastic next person. Let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Gemma, let me tell you about Gemma. She's a year three student at Melmaria Catholic Primary School. She likes netball and is learning to play the game with her teammates. She also loves doing acrobatic dancing when she gets to do bend backs and the splits. Mr. Parry can do them. Good luck to you, good girl. In the olden days, children traveled to store in different ways. They traveled on bikes, in buses, on a ferry, in a tram, or on a horse, depending on where they lived. The young children rode the horse, but the oldest child had to walk alongside. Before the children left home, they had to pack their lunch in a satchel or haste with their books. They didn't have backpacks or hand teens at school at house. I'm so glad that my mum and dad drove me to school. Classrooms look very different now compared to what they looked like in the olden days. The teachers were on blackboards using chalk. This took a long time and if they made a mistake, they'd rub it all out with a duster and start it then. Children sat in rows at wooden desks that were nailed to the ground so it would be more stable. Before pen and paper, they wrote on a thin rock called slate, you didn't chalk, that you could rub off. Then I mean and ink pens so often spill. Today we use smartboards, iPads and laptops so that plastic desks, on mats, sometimes anywhere, and write on paper using pencils and pens. Which classroom would you prefer? Football, soccer, chasing and basketball are all the games we play today. In the olden days, they played marbles, nut bones and hopscotch. Marbles are made of round colourful glass and are sometimes see-through. They are played outside on the ground. Nut bones were from, from lamb meat, which were cleaned and dried to use in the day. Today, you can use colourful plastic ones or silver metal ones. Hopstotch was a popular game to play in the olden days. It was played by drawing the blocks in the sand with a stick. You used a tool such as a rock, pebble or a piece of stick and you need to throw within the blocks. Then you hop to the next block but don't hop in the block with the tool in it. You can play with a friend or by yourself. Hopstotch is a name I like to play in my backyard. See if you can guess what these olden school day items are. This is, this is slate that was used to write on using chalk. This is an inkwell and pen that sat in the hole in the wooden desk and spilled easily. The more recent item is the typewriter. This was used to type up schoolwork, notes or homework. In the olden days, it would have been fun but also challenging to go to school and learn. I know which time frame I would prefer. What would you choose? Thank you for listening to my speech. Great job, Gemma. Andrea and I are having flashbacks. I don't, I don't know how you managed to find some of our old school photos. <laughs> Especially the ones sitting at the wooden desks with the ink pots. I didn't have ink pots. Oh, Andrea, you're covering up. 